In this figure, we're given a voltage current relationship for some circuit element. Voltage is on the horizontal axis and current is on the vertical axis. If you're given a voltage current relationship in a graphical form and you want to find the current at any given value of voltage, you just look it up off of the curve. So in this example, we want to find I, the current, if the magnitude of the voltage is less than one volt or greater than three volts. Let's do less than one volt first. If the magnitude of V is less than one volt, that means that V is between negative one volt and positive one volt. So V is somewhere in this range. Over this entire range of voltages, the current is equal to zero, so I is equal to zero milliamps. If the magnitude of V is greater than three volts, that means that V is greater than three volts or V is less than negative three volts. So we're either greater than three volts or were less than negative three volts. If V is greater than three volts, the current is up here, which looks like it's about 30 milliamps. So I is equal to 30 milliamps for V greater than three volts. And if V is less than negative three volts, I looks like it's about negative 30 milliamps. Finally, we want the current if the voltage is some specific value, say two volts. If V is equal to two volts, we go up to the curve at that value of voltage, follow it across to the current, and the current looks like it's here when V is equal to two volts, which I would guess is about 22 or 23 milliamps. The important thing is that this curve gives a relationship between voltage and current at the terminals of some circuit. We can use that to describe the circuit's behavior mathematically.